In this bass lesson, you're going to learn the melodic analysis method for figuring out the key of a song. Hi, I'm Luke McIntosh, and if you want to start learning both the art and science of figuring out keys for yourself, make sure you check this one out. This is the second of three videos all about different methods of identifying the key of a song. In the last lesson, we talked about the intuitive method, which relied almost exclusively on the ear, and it was certainly more art than science. But in this melodic analysis method, though, we'll be using the art of figuring out the key, but this time we'll also mix it with the concrete information that the song gives us. It'll give us a nice balance of both the art and the science. So, what information are we going to use from the song? You've probably guessed it already. The melody. All we're going to do is play the melodies of some different songs and use the notes within those melodies to figure out the key. When you know all the notes of a melody, we'll see if we can figure out what key uh, it is using our ears and our knowledge of the different keys. Sound good? Perfect, let's get to it. Let's try this with a very simple melody to start with. Nearly everyone knows Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, right? It's the same melody as the Alphabet Song. Uh, you might not know it was actually uh, Mozart who originally wrote the melody way back in the day. So, let's, uh, let's say you know how to play this melody, and it sounds like this. Great, this, is, this means we actually have something to work with. In the first video of the series, we didn't really have anything to work with, uh, but now we have six notes. We've got C, G, A, F, E, and D, and then, of course, the final C again. Now, if you know about keys, you'll know that there are only seven notes in any given key, and this melody has given us six notes. So there's a six in seven chance of the melody being one of these notes. These are pretty good odds, right? Uh, the next question to ask yourself is, which of these notes feels most stable, most at home? Which of these notes has the most gravity? We're using the information in the melody, but we're still partially using our ears to uncover the key. Like I said, we're mixing the art and science of music now. Let's play through this melody a few more times with this in mind and just see what you think. Which note uh, feels most stable, most at home? Now, if you were to stop on all of these notes, would the song feel finished? Let's try all of them. Let's try our first note, the C. It feels pretty stable in the context of the melody. Yeah, so that's an option, that's a possibility, but let's keep going. What about the next note in the melody? This G. If we ended on that note, would it feel super stable? Does it feel at home? It's, it's possible, uh, but let's keep moving on. What about the A? Does that feel like it's the most important note within the key? Uh, probably not. Uh, what about this F right here? Uh, mm, again, probably not the key. If you sang that note against the melody, it wouldn't really work. So if you went mm, and played the melody, duh. see what I mean? Does not work super, super well. What about the next note though? This E right here. Is that a strong candidate? Duh. Potentially, it could actually work. Uh, what about the D? Duh. Does that feel at home and stable? Uh, again, it's probably not the best choice. It doesn't feel particularly at home or stable. It feels like it either wants to go up to the E there or down to the C. And that's not what we want. We want something that feels like it doesn't want to move at all. And we've found three potential winners, the C, the G, and the E. So let's sing each of these notes against the whole melody and see which one sounds the best. Let's start with our E. So this is our E. Mm, and over the melody, it'll sound like this. Yeah, so to me, this one doesn't seem like it's super strong. It doesn't sound bad, but that E just doesn't have a lot of gravity, you know? So let's move on to the next one. Next, let's try the G. So it sounds like this. And over the melody, it'll sound like this. Now this 
is probably a little bit stronger than the E, but let's try our last one, the C. Mm, this is our C right here, and with the melody, this one is, to me at least, so much stronger than either of our other options. Can you hear on that run down when we finally get to the C? Everything has been leading us there, and when we finally arrive, everything just kind of falls into place. Everything lands. It's like putting the last piece of a massive jigsaw puzzle in. It's just deeply satisfying. This means that we're almost certainly in the key of C. And is it a major key or a minor key? We talked about this in the last video of the series, how major keys sound a bit brighter and minor keys are more darker sounding. Now which one is this? Is this bright or is this dark? It's bright, right? It's a kid's song. It'd be strange if it was in a minor key. Uh, actually, check this out. If you change the notes in this to be in a minor key, it'll sound like this. Completely different and kind of creepy. <laughs> so the actual melody... It's almost certainly in a major key. And since we've figured out that C is our home base right here, that means that we're most likely in the key of C major. That's our key. Now, if you already know the notes in your keys, you'll already know that this melody is in C major. Why? Because C major doesn't have any sharps or flats, and we don't have any in this melody. And by the way, if you want a, a big cheat sheet with all the notes with all your keys on it, including this one, make sure to download uh, the bonus video, Key Certainty, how to make sure you've picked the right key. That video actually comes with a bonus PDF with all your keys just laid out for you, makes things super easy for you and it'll be super helpful. So that's basically our process. Figure out the notes of the melody, see which one feels most stable, most at home, and that will probably be the root of the, of, uh, the key. Then ask yourself, bright or dark, and that should tell you if it's a major key or a minor key. Now, if you've got a melody that's just one or two notes, this probably isn't going to help too much, right? There's not really enough data to work with. But you'll find that most melodies have at least five or six notes. So let's do one more example that's not so simple, and let's use the Stevie Wonder song, Isn't She Lovely? And let's just use the first part of the melody as an example. In case you don't know how it goes, the melody sounds like this. <laughs> The notes of the melody, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, and then we get that again. With two notes added to it, this C sharp and this B. Yeah. Now in just these two phrases, we've got enough to figure out the key. We've got six notes in this melody, just like in our last example, but which one is the home base? Which one is the root of the key? Well, let's try some of these notes out. Let's start with the G sharp. It's the first note of the melody, so it's got to be important, right? So this is our G sharp. And with the whole melody, it sounds like this. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad, but it's probably not a slam dunk yet. It doesn't feel super, super uh, strong at the moment. So let's try the next note in the melody. This A right here. Here's the A, and with the melody... This one, it's probably not this one. <laughs> There's too much in there that just doesn't sound good. So let's move on uh, to the next note we encounter. This uh, F sharp. Mm, again, with the melody. Mm. Again, this doesn't really work a lot of the time. Uh, it does work when the actual notes come around, but the, all the notes around it don't work super, super well. What about the E? Mm. Uh, Alright, so the melody... Uh, 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 okay, this could actually be something that works really well. It works better than all the notes we've done so far, so let's keep that one in our back pocket and do the last two notes of the melody. What about this C sharp here? Mm. So with the melody... Duh. It's 
probably not this one, right? It doesn't feel great. And we only really get that C sharp as kind of a passing tone, uh, not really a strong melodic note. Okay, so last one, this B right here. Now this is the last note of the phrase, and sometimes that can be a clue to the key. A lot of songs will end, uh, the last note of the melody will end on the root of the key, like we did in Twinkle Twinkle. Uh, so here's the B, and the melody, This actually sounds okay, but to me it doesn't really feel like home base. It doesn't feel 100% stable, 100% at home. Especially when I compare it to the E that we had in our back pocket before. This one sounds and feels way better. If I was going through and picking the note that sounded like the root to me, I would definitely be picking that E right there. So if E is our key, are we in the key of E major or E minor? Now this one's actually a little bit tricky because at the very start of the song, it sounds darker and gets brighter as you go through. By the time you get to the end of the phrase though, it's definitely brighter and that's kind of where the song lands. So you could probably say that this song is in the key of E major. And in fact, that's exactly where it is. You could also think of this song as being in the key of uh, C sharp minor, the relative minor, but that's getting a bit beyond the scope of what we're talking about in this video. One common problem with figuring out keys to songs is not knowing for sure whether you've got it right. In fact, there are two super common mistakes that people make when they're trying to figure out the key of a song, but there's a simple fix for both of them. Now, if you want to know the solution, I've got a free bonus video for you called Key Certainty, how to make sure you've picked the right key. And in it, you'll learn exactly what to do to make sure you've made the right choice with 100% certainty. To get it, just follow the link in the description, sign up on that page, and I'll send it straight to your email address free of charge. To recap though, you learned how to use the melody analysis method to figure out the key of a song. You learned that this mixed the art and science of music and all you had to do was find which note of the melody sounded most stable, most at home. This was most likely going to be the root of whatever key the song is in. Thank you so much for hanging out today, I really appreciate it. I'm Luke from Come A Bassist and make sure and follow that link in the description, get that free bonus video. I would love to see you in there as well. Cheers.